What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy and today we're taking a look at the Defender Series case from Otterbox. Now, this is for your iPhone 4 or 4S. It's available in a number of different colors. I've got the black one here and uh, actually I'm really impressed with Otterbox products up until this point. I previously unboxed their iPad 2 case. I believe it was called the Reflex Series. I can't remember the name for certain, but I'll put a link in the annotations as well as in the description so you can go check out that unboxing if you haven't seen it yet. But the reason I'm impressed is because of how tough the material is, the ruggedized sort of resin material that is uh, mostly what this case is constructed of, minus the external rubberized silicone-like shell. The real magic happens internally. But first, let's talk about the exterior portion. This is, this is a three-part system. You've got this rubberized uh, silicone-like finish, but it's much thicker than what you're used to in terms of, say, a silicone skin. And then on the interior side you've got this front portion that covers the front of your iPhone of course and it even has a built-in screen protector for you know stopping scratches and whatnot from occurring now the interesting part here is I've already got a screen protector installed on my phone I'm going to see if it'll work with both now this is the back side of the case you have a nice soft material here including a cutout for the Apple logo up here and then another cutout for your camera as well as flash the camera cutout has no plastic cover over it, which makes sense considering it has to function with that flash, whereas the Apple logo cutout does. Now, here is the infamous pink iPhone you may remember from other videos. It's featuring the Brixen color shield, which I also unboxed and featured a little while ago on the channel. And uh, as I said before, that's already a screen protector. And then the OtterBox brings another screen protector to the party. And I was amazed to find out that it functions perfectly even with two screen protectors. So this is probably overkill. If you decide to go with the OtterBox permanently, then you're not going to need two screen protectors. But for the sake of this video, I just wanted to show you guys that it does work. Installation is actually pretty easy. You take the two internal components and clip them together. There are three clips, one on each side of the body and then one on the top side. And after that's done, it's pretty much secure within this enclosure. The only part that you're left to do is wrap the silicone rubberized external portion around this portion and boom, you've got the finished product. Now you've got a very generous cutout along top for your forward facing camera, your earpiece, as well as your sensor. So you're not going to have to worry about having any sort of issues with those phone components. And as I mentioned before, you've got a built in screen protector, so you won't need to bring your own to the party unless you really want to and you're super paranoid. <laughs> and then on the side of the case, you've got access via this little flap to your vibrate switch. And you've also got your fully covered volume up and down buttons, but you still get a little bit of tactile feedback. The bottom of the case leaves enough room for both your microphone and speaker, and you've got a really robust sort of cover for your dock connector, fully covering it up so you're not going to get any debris or anything like that up in there, anything that you don't want. So here's a look at the back of the case, and as I mentioned before, you've got cutouts for both the Apple logo as well as the camera and flash, so you know everything up there is going to function correctly along the top of the case. You've got a fully protected hold switch, and then you've got access as well to your microphone, and if you flip this tab here up, you'll get access to your headphone jack. You've even got a little crevice here, which makes it easier to flip that portion up, which is important because, you know, you're going to be using this particular aspect of the case fairly often when you're inserting headsets, etc., now, this case also includes a belt clip if anybody uses those anymore, <laughs> but it is one of the better belt clips that I've ever seen, holsters, whatever you want to call them. It's got a ratcheting style clip, and uh, it definitely feels like it's not going to pop off by accident. It's made out of the same rugged sort of resin material that the interior portion of the Defender Series case is made out of, so you know it's going to be just as tough. Now, here's the key. <laughs> How does it hold up? to drops and bumps and whatnot. Well, let me tell you something. I'm fairly confident in it, just sort of testing it out here. These aren't huge drops, just a couple of feet, but I'm actually more worried about the table than I am about the iPhone. There were some nice big bangs, no dents or anything. But anyway, guys, as you can tell, I'm pretty impressed with this product. I'm going to use it and find out if it's going to be a daily driver or not. But uh, anyways, until next time, I want to thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this content, hopefully you can like and favorite this video as it does help me out a bunch. 
And until next time, I'll see you around the channel. A lot of you are going to be asking about the giveaway. That's going to be coming up real soon, as soon as I get some things sorted out. And uh, definitely stay tuned to the channel for that. Subscribe if you haven't yet. All right, see you guys around. Later.